actually, to do. Yeah, huh? but actually, about a year ago, wasn't it? Yeah, we, we, we kind of spontaneously put a benefit together and did a uh, thing with uh, a reunion of the lead singers of Chicago groups. And it, uh, it was a lot of fun because we hadn't seen each other in about 18 years. Wow. So it was kind of like going back to school together. And, uh, and it worked out so nice that uh, Jim uh, threw this together and said, let's do one uh, for real. And uh, we got a real concert coming out of it. You know, I was just putting the two things together. And this is, I'm, I'm using an analogy here, a big stretch, but it is an analogy. The rappers of today are very controversial people. There are many who say this is shameful music and horrible oh, music. Yeah. Back in the 60s, you guys oh, were the you rappers of the 60s. Mm. People were saying, this music should never be shown. It's going to mm. ruin. My dad was And wonderful. you guys did yeah. ruin the entire. Uh, <laughs> yes, we did. We ruined everybody. You two ruined the <laughs> Purple Beetle. No, you understand uh, what I'm uh, saying? No, really. That you I all think were that every generation has that. Every, uh, you know, like any 18 or 19 year old performer brings the, the, the whatever newness he's going to bring with him for his adult life. And I think everybody looks at because now I look at, at uh, music that's happening now, and I go, gee, is that really right? It's too that, much is energy. It, you know? Yeah, it's too much <laughs> energy for me now, yeah. Well, but that's, a, that's kind of the question that I'm driving at. Mm -hmm. Back there in the 60s, when you were being accused of being these revolutionaries oh, yeah. of music, mm -hmm. did you think you were the revolutionaries of music? Did you think you were doing something wrong? No. Yeah, we were just having no, fun, we had just like time. these guys are today. Yeah. Sure. I think it's just a lot of fun, and, and you get your, you, your, your following of your, your peer group, you know, the people that relate to a newness, I think, in music is what happens uh, every generation of, of bands that come up, I think. Now, Jim, you, you started saying about your father. What did your dad say well, when he first heard your group? Well, when he first heard it on the radio, it was okay then. Oh, okay. But <laughs> it's getting up to that point. Can you cut your hair? Uh, yeah. You gotta wear purple beetle boots that lace up the back, you know, and <laughs> things like that. As yeah. a matter of fact, Jim, looking back on those years, we have a little video from those <laughs> oh. days. The days gone by. Uh-oh. Let's take a look. <laughs> Who knows? Well, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Actually, this is it. back great memories for you guys oh, yeah. and everybody oh, who yeah. comes to listen yeah, to it's amazing now because when people when they talk about uh, when they say oh you were at the Buckingham's it's amazing the response that that they that it's it's like a little locket that they keep and that that my wife in. when we people were listening to yours I said, don't blame us yeah now what now what about kids looking at you as, as parental figures now do you find yourself being that stern parent when you know, in the years of the 60s, you were saying to kids, mm -hmm. come out and watch us. Don't All do right. what those old folks All say. Right. My son uh -huh. is playing bass now and, 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 uh, oh. and, and like in heavy metal, you know. <laughs> Actually, he's into Jimi Hendrix and the mm -hmm. Grateful Dead and yeah. everybody that was around when we were around yeah. too. So. Let's talk a little bit, too, about the fact that you guys were able to make an impact nationally mm -hmm. right yeah. out of Chicago. Right out of Chicago. Yeah. That's right. Is that possible? In uh, this day and age uh, anymore, could you still oh, do it? I think it's, it's a shame to say, but I don't, no, yeah. I don't think I it think is. It's difficult uh, for any regional group to, to bust out because there's, a, there's another level you go to now. When we started, there was no such thing as a demo tape. There was no such thing. It was like we, we played ballrooms, got discovered, and they said, let's try to make a record. Now, there's such a, 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 an anthill to crawl up to to get up to the place where you can get discovered somehow, you know, it's, or it's a fluke. We tell the story. You know, we tell the story that we recorded. We used to record in the studio in Chicago and on the way home we could hear it on the radio. Wow. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. They, they would take, our yeah. manager would take the tape right over to the radio station right. and the yeah. disc jacket would put well, it on. You it's know? a little difficult climbing uh, that ant hill but ant I'll hill. tell you <laughs> that pot of gold up at the top now is wow. Yeah. 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 We, yeah. we yeah. broke the ground. That's and right. So again,